Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. It is time for Mailbag Monday. I'm actually recording this on Sunday because I want to get it up early for Monday. We have a beautiful package. This is from Jennifer from Rhode Island. Not only is it pretty, but it's textured. There's little puffy stickers and all kinds of things. Look what it says on the back. I just noticed that. I gotta put my glasses on. Don't let the sunshine ruin your rain. Isn't that awesome? She obviously knows how much I do not like the sunshine and that I do love the rain. Well, thank you, Jennifer. This is enough right here. The box and that little saying. But really, this is so cool is that Tape? Yes, all decorative tape. Just some cute stickers. Oh, look at these little puffy stickers. Ah, oh, they're just adorable. Okay, let's open this baby up. I did get this a few days ago, but I think I was just waiting to see in case anything else came in on Saturday. Just thought I'd do a mailbag Monday instead of a fan mail Friday. I don't even want to destroy this. Ow, almost destroyed my hand. I am so terrible at this. Seriously. Oh my gosh, that's strong tape. Ah, we're getting there. Ugh. I shouldn't be trusted with scissors. <laughs> I'm using it like a saw. And I'm using my fabric scissors, which I know some of you think is a sin. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have a card, and there's a note on the back of the envelope. It says, the glass jar is old, very old buttons from my late aunt. You will put them to better use than I will. I have four kids, the clothes are from them. They all have small stains or holes, but I thought you could use them for something. And I absolutely can. You know that I don't mind at all. I always tell people, things with stains, rips, missing buttons, broken zippers, that's all good. Look, it's a zebra. So cute. My daughter Teresa and I, hi Teresa, heart watching you. Thanks for doing what you do. I was at a Savers, it's a thrift store in Rhode Island. I guess we do have one here in New Hampshire, like not Portsmouth, maybe Newington. I haven't been to it. It's not that far from me, maybe like a 50 minute ride. And found these cute buttons. I hope you enjoy them. Heart, Jen. I suggest you make dolls or teddy bears from old baby clothes. I sent you a few things to inspire you. Yeah, that is something that I would like to do. And it's like all a matter of time. I have an idea that I've wanted to do for several years now that I still haven't been able to do. Oh yeah, so this is going to be so cool. Look at all this stuff. First, let's look at these buttons. My goodness. Look at these, nice little checkered buttons. Love that. Now these must be the ones she got at Savers. <gasps> Look, flowery ones. Oh, and these, like big daisies or something. We have some with pumpkins. Oh, see the little lone pumpkin hanging out all by himself there? He's gotta go back to his family. Let me open this up. So excited. Sewing needles, can always use that. And seam binding, awesome. Look at how many there are of these. And these two, look how many. That's awesome. Oh, these are cool. And there's a ton of these also. Here's the little flowery ones. Just so nice. And then these are all the little, whoops, I dumped them out. These are all like pumpkins. Ah. Thank you so much, Jennifer. So excited. Ah, I knew there had to be a jar in here somewhere. Oh, well look at the jar. How adorable is that? 
That's awesome. And then there's some old buttons in here. Oh, I love stuff like this. It reminds me of the buttons I used to play with as a kid somewhere in our cellar. I bet there is still that same jar that I used to play with as a child. It was like a toy to me, a jar of buttons. Oh, thank you so much. These will stay in this little jar and I will use them wisely. It's hard for me to part with buttons. <laughs> okay, let's look at this. My goodness. Button, button. Who's got the button? A man who upcycles his clothing and makes something out of them, just like you. I was back at Savers today and saw this book. It's a perfect story for you to share with Skylar. And it's about a man who does stuff with his clothing. And look at the pictures of the buttons. I didn't know I could be that excited about pictures of buttons. That's awesome. A new obsession. Button porn. Well, this is going to be nice, and Skyla absolutely loves to read, and she's going to like to look at this. The pictures are fantastic. Thank you so much. She's going to be here in just a little over two weeks. Two weeks Tuesday. Am I the only person that doesn't understand how to use these things? Oh, did I figure it out? Yes, I'm terrible at stuff. And I like office supplies. I think I could get a grip on a paper clip. Okay, I think we are down to clothing. And we have some super cool things. This is going to really inspire me to try to do something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Look. So nice. Oh, look how cute. Oh my goodness. Shirts like that. I can't believe Skyla used to be this size. So much stuff. This is going to get me to do what I wanted to do. I don't really talk about it because there's so many things that I want to do that I never get around to doing. So it's like I hate to just keep tossing things out there. Because I want you guys to know that if I say I'm doing something that you can count on it getting done. Like if I start a series, I want you to know that I will finish it. <laughs> uh, some of this can make, you know, like you said, clothing for dolls or whatever. But some of it can also be used for the fabric. I already have ideas. Oh my goodness. So uh, much of it. Leopard print. So nice. Did you say you have four children, Jennifer? My goodness. Oh, look at this skirt. It has an elastic waist in the back, but you can also tie it. Beautiful butterfly print. That's awesome. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. I can't even believe this. This is so different than anything I've ever gotten. It's all going to go on the peanut gallery rack. So thank you so much, Jennifer. If anybody wants to send upcycled fashion clothing to me, not other kinds of gifts. I know some of you want to send me other things, and I promise you, I need nothing else. And what I need, I do get for myself. It's not like I am not able to go out and buy something for myself. I know many of you think that I never want to spend money on myself, and it's pretty much because I really don't need a whole lot. But Upcycled Fashions, when I get stuff from you guys, it gives me, you know, just that much more energy to want to tackle the next Upcycled Fashion. I appreciate it very much. My address is always in the description down below and in the comments on these videos. I even have like a little wish list just to give you guys an idea and I don't want you to think you need to send a whole lot of stuff because you don't. One t-shirt is fine. And again, I don't care about stains or tears or anything like that. It can be worn out, just anything. As a matter of fact, sometimes the worse, the better. It's more of a challenge and I like that. So thank you again so much, Jennifer, and to your daughter, Teresa, for watching also. I appreciate it so much. I'll be back with more soon. Bye! If you'd like to see some of my upcycled fashions, you can click the playlist at the top right. And please subscribe while you're here. I would appreciate it. Thanks!